Good morning to all of you. Myself, Professor N. V. Arpe from H. N. D. College of Engineering and Research Center, Yogla. Now, today we are discuss the new topic of course electrical measurement and instrumentation. In that, the the topic today's topic is range extension technique of any meter. Range extension technique means how to increase the range of the uh, any uh, instrument that is voltmeter, ammeter, wattmeter, like that. The, for that purpose, we use the instrument transformer. Instrument transformer. Instrument transformer. What is instrument transformer? Uh, the instrument transformer are used in a AC system for measurement of electrical quantity. That is voltage, current, power, energy, power factor, frequency. The instrument transformer also used for protective uh, with used with protective relays for protection of power system. The basic function of instrument transformer is to step down the AC system voltage and current. Means to step down the voltage as well as current by using instrument transformer. The voltage and current level of power system is very high. Uh, in a, suppose a high voltage line, the voltage and current of the power system is very high. This current or voltage we does not measure directly by using any meters or by any instrument. That's why we use the instrument transformer for instrument transformer for the measuring the high voltage and current. It is very difficult and costly to design measuring instrument for measurement of such high level voltage and current. Therefore, generally measuring are Generally, measuring instruments are designed for 5 ampere, 10, up 10 ampere, and 100 volt, uh, 150 volt, 300 volt, and 600 volt. Up to that, the measurement of such very large electrical quantities can be made possible by using instrument transformer. By using instrument transformer, you can measure the high volt value of voltage and current with, with the help of small rating measuring instrument. With the help of small rating measuring instrument. Advantage of instrument transformer, the large voltage of current and voltage of AC power system can be measured by using small rating of measuring instrument that is 5 ampere uh, 10 ampere, uh, 110 uh, volt, 150 volt, 300 volt, like that. By using means by using small range of meters, we can measure the high value of voltage and current. By using the instrument transformer, the measuring instrument can be standardized, which results in reduction of cost of measuring. Moreover, the damage measuring instrument can be replaced through EG with healthy standardized, standardized measuring instrument. Means if the instrument which will be damaged, then uh, we can easily replace uh, with because the secondary of instrument transformer having low voltage and low current. Low voltage or low current. That's why we easily replace the Multimeter. Then instrument transformer provide electrical isolation between high voltage power circuit and measuring instrument, which reduces the electrical insulation requirement for measuring instrument and protective circuit and also assures the safety of operator. Several measuring instruments can be connected to a single transformer to power system. And due to the low voltage and current level, in measuring the protective circuit, there is low power consumption in measuring and protective circuit. Means the power losses should be reduced. The type of instrument transformer. There are two types of instrument transformer. First one is current transformer, that is CT, and potential transformer, that is PT. The current transformer, which is used to measure the high value of current by using a small range of 
emitter by using small range of emitter the connection diagram of cd is this is the primary of cd which is connected to the system having high value of current will be flowing to that system then secondary of cd which will be connected to the emitter it will be connected to the emitter and one terminal of uh, secondary of uh, cd which is connected to the ground in city we does not does not open circuit the secondary of city always keep the short circuited or with the connection of emitter because when the uh, step down the current means the step up the voltage means the secondary the voltage of secondary of city which is very high due to this voltage this is very dangerous to the human being and it also damage the insulation insulation of the winding that's why we does not open uh, open the secondary of city means when the current flows to the primary winding then the current according to the mutual induction induction the secondary current which will be reduced according to the city ratio according to the city ratio and this will be measured by using ammeter suppose ammeter shows the reading 2 ampere and the city ratio is city ratio is uh, 3 or 4 then the 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 primary current the current flow to that uh, uh, system that is 2 into 4 means 2 ampere into 4 4 means your city ratio this is how to calculate means the this ammeter 0 to 5 ampere ammeter measures the reading up to 10 or 15 ampere or up to above that this is a function of current transformer next potential transformer the potential transformer which is used to measure the high value of voltage by using small range of voltmeter by using small range of voltmeter it is used to step down the voltage from higher voltage to lower voltage and the primary of a uh, pt the primary winding of pt which is connected to across the system and secondary and the secondary winding connected to the voltmeter connected to the voltmeter and when the supply is on then the voltmeter shows the reading and this will be the multiply of the pt ratio this will be multiply of the pt ratio means by using small range of uh, voltmeter we can measure the high voltage of uh, high value of voltage by using pt that is potential transformer the primary of pt having number of turns large number of turns and secondary having very small number of turns the secondary the as the voltmeter is having large resistance hence the secondary of pt operates almost in open circuited condition one terminal of secondary of pt is earth to maintain the secondary voltage with respect to earth this is for safety purpose the difference between the city and pt the connection of city in series with the power circuit and pt will be connected connected in parallel with the power circuit the secondary is connected to emitter and in, in that potential emitter or potential transformer pt the secondary is connected to the voltmeter for measuring the voltage the secondary works on in almost works in works almost in short circuited condition and pt always works in open circuited condition the primary current depends on power circuit current in that primary current depends on secondary burden the primary current and excitation vary over wide range with change of power circuit current the primary current and excitation variation are restricted to a small range the one terminal of secondary is connected to the earth 
and one terminal of secondary can be can be earth for safety purpose and for current transfer in current transfer it is to avoid insulation breakdown the secondary is never be open circuited and in that the potential transformer the secondary is always open circuited the ratio of ct and pt transformation ratio it is the magnitude of primary phasor to the secondary phasor it is called as transformation ratio for ct primary winding current upon secondary winding current and for pt primary voltage and upon secondary voltage the turns ratio the turns ratio means the number of turns of secondary it is the ratio of number of turns of secondary winding to the number of turns of primary winding in both the uh, transformer ct and pt the nominal ratio that is the nominal ratio it is the rated ratio of rated primary current or voltage to the rated secondary winding current or voltage for ct it is the ratio of rated primary current upon rated secondary current means you are ct ratio and pt ratio how to calculate ct and pt ratio this will be calculated by using this formula this is called as nominal ratio and the last point of last topic of that uh, range extension that is burden on a load the burden of a current transformer is the value of load connected across the secondary wire transformer when the secondary of transformer city i have connected the load this is called as a burden on a load it is expressed as the output in volt ampere that is uh, apparent power the the rated burden is the value of burden on the name plate of the city the rated burden is the product of voltage and current on secondary when city supplies the instrument or relay with its maximum rated value of current this is a range extension technique of volt of instrument by using instrument transformer that is ct and pt okay thank you